last time I watched, uh, this is 122 red, not watched. Uh, we're not watching Joe Jolie in any time soon. <laughs> Back on the streets, gotta make some money. All right, um, your boy, I haven't read Jojolian in, in a long time from having back another video. Um, and it's just like that. It's been, I think, about two months since I read Jojolian chapter. I'm sure a lot has happened in two months slash two chapters. Um, before we even get to the, y'all let me know right now how this quality looks like um, as far as the audio video goes. And let me know how the audio sounds like. Still working on my uh, Blue Yeti to get the optimal settings and uh, still working on OBS. I have a MacBook. Obviously the processing isn't the greatest, but we're trying 1440 by 900. Just let me know how it goes. As <laughs> a fat, long, mushy turd bent in the L shape. Listen, there's nobody that has better audio uh, that I read, that has better, not audio, but comedy um, than, than Yasu. <laughs> One take than Iraqi. Iraqi has the best comedy in my opinion. Yes, uh, what's on, what's on this dress? Is it like uh pie fractions? That's what it looks like to me is pie fractions. Are those natural flowers that Yasuo has on your dress, or is those like nothing else? Mommy wants to have a summer vacation too. I love Yasuo's mom. She has gotten a lot of appearances like the past hundred chapters, but pretty cool person. God, those teeth. Is this Frankenstein? Jesus. What are you stupid? <laughs> The stupid idiot word of Chris Jericho. Bees. Is there something relevant about bees to this part of the series? No, um, hornets. I think um uh, no bees. Don't don't rock humans travel by bees. That's a rock. It's a rock in his hand. Is that Toru? That is in fact Toru. Rockings? Who's Rockings by chance? This dude looks like um his stand in this instance. Kind of like his stand in a way. That's pretty cool. Little, little detail there for the audience. Is she going to be imbued with a rock? Is it going to go through her cut and give her like rock healing properties? No, you have to take the... um. The Rokakaka. I told you it's been a while. You have to take the Rokakaka to do it. He looks like an adult. He does, in fact, look like an adult. <laughs> as soon as I find my way, he's found his way by looking at little girls. All right, Toru. You really are an old man, I see. Even a genius adult hacker couldn't find him looking for him. The signal out here is rather bad, too. Toru is quite uh, interesting. I don't know. Is he looking for a. Uh, I would think Joseph Fume is about the same age as uh, Yasuho. But that's why I figured he's looking for Joseph Fume. Oh. They're elderly. They once had a license to practice medicine. That They're currently in a nursing home. They're not close to their family to really if ever get people visiting. That's the stand, right? Actually, I thought I saw like an aura about her. But I couldn't tell if it was... Uh, Paisley Park or not. The former doctor currently in a nursing home in the Ibar Ibaraki per Prefecture. Is he looking for like Satoru's body or something? It would appear. For impersonating. There you go. He said it out loud. What the hell is wrong with Satoru? Satoru is one disgusting human being. He's like eight. He's like 18. Just drop him down on uh, Yasuho. And you grow up and you've forgotten about me. We're going to start calling him Toru Cosby. That's his name for now, Toru Cosby. You know, it's really interesting to see how uh, a Rocky builds like a background, like damn towards the end of a series. Like he gives like these characters like, um, like... Diavolo's uh, alter ego. Um, what's his name? Dofu or something like that. I forgot his name, bro. But you know who I'm talking about. The alter ego that's like, oh, hey, boss. That, that idiot. Um, I mean, that happens to be the actual, to an extent, or at least at one point, was the actual, um, actual Diavolo. 
and again the background on how he became what he was like like the, the latter quarter of the entire manga that's it was pretty effective too it was good background like we you know he kind of has this upgrading like uh like ben from star wars he just kills everybody around him and it's how he grew up in after you know a different situation in star wars obviously but after his identity is almost compromised just burns the place down and that obviously wasn't the first instance of his background whoever i think he got abused something like that that made him have split egos but everything we learn about him primarily comes in the back half and i feel like the exposition is always good he does he do it with every villain he didn't do it with part four he gave us like incremental kind of updates and kind of became it wasn't really much to yoshikage uh but he kind of split that not much into so pretty tasteful portions uh diavolo not deal uh deal in part three kind of like some small crumbs and we got a big meal uh as we see him meeting Honoref. um Eo, I was dealing part one, exposition on the way. Uh, Pucci in part six, exposition on the way. Uh, part seven, funny. We get like an exposition dump towards the end. So yeah, I like the exposition dump. It's fine with me. Araki does it pretty well. So this is a do 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 um, sound or kanji. Who's not even listening to Jobin? So it's like a perfect exchange. So she doesn't have any rock after effects. So the, the whole equivalent exchange concept is basically gone to shit. Like, literally, you could just pretty much eat the poor, <laughs> in a sense. Let uh, let Bill Gates be a suho in a sense, and let like India be <laughs> be, be uh, uh, Jobin, not Joshu, not Jobin. My bad, jo Joshu, not Jobin. Um, by the way, when I said India, I just like use a vague nation. I wasn't being racist or anything like that. Um. I'm, I'm interested in how she fights Toru without pursuing him. Is she really intent on ignoring jo like fucking Joshi? There's like a baby arm. <laughs> oh, man. Don't imply anything. Don't pursue him. Yes. Don't. Well, I'm pursuing. I know that. I'd be scared as hell. Knowing he has wonder of you, I'd be pissing myself. I don't mind giving you this work, but you might want me to just stay right here and just slide that flower over real quick. You will die. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, bro. Calamity has been pretty much undefeated uh, up until... I guess until Josuke came along. Kind of like Final Destination. Wasn't oh, she already in the flow? Like, she almost died. I don't know if she almost died because she's pursuing... It's because of Job. Because of actual Jobin, not Josuke, but actual Jobin. But I feel like she was in part affected by Calamity, but what it's saying is he wasn't affected by Calamity. He's outside of the circle. This reminds me a lot of Final Destination. I guess, is Jomi confirmed dead? Suba nor Suke Sarugi will die as well. <laughs> Toru Cosby. <laughs> As years go by, all you'll have is memories. If I was a good editor, I would throw in um, Persistence by Lil Ugly Main right here. Maybe I still will, but... If she tells Josuke, that's not pursuing. Why is it going to be an LCD screen? She doesn't have an iPhone? She doesn't have a retina screen yet? <laughs> Yo, it's modern day Japan, but they have iPhones. What are they doing? I think she just says, hey, Josuke, how'd you come back home? Uh, I have somebody here. <laughs> he talking about the arm? Is he going to reach for that arm? If you go giving somebody else hand jobs, wait, I'll kill you. Just think if I really got that. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't want to suggest doing the equivalent exchange in the first place. That's why I'm mine now. I'm not giving it back. I need him to give it. I need him to give it to him. I don't know if that's how he heard it or if this is a terrible translation. But I, I imagine Joshi was hearing it as if giving a blowjob to Josuke. He's trying to strangle himself. <laughs> He's gonna use Nut King Claw. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Yo, if he beats her up with Nut King Call, bro, that's gonna be like the highlight of Joe's <laughs> Joshi's career. This is the address of Calamity's going to come. If I can go for this address and I'll be pursuing the Calamity stand. The maid needs to need you more sans address. I don't understand what's about to happen. This is out of my, my brain power. So he's, I guess he's basically trying to give Josuke more of a chance. Is this lightning? What's happening here? I, it's so hard understanding Rocky sometimes. But I imagine it's like signaling out to... It's kind of like an upside down, like a ship. Um, not a ship. Like a camera movement from like going to one scene or one location to another. That's what I'm gathering from this. And that's um, it's Joseph Fume's uh, sister, I believe. I don't wipe you down. That's uh, Joseph Fume's mom. Turn to stone. Give that phone to Josuke. My daughter is K. My son's name is Yoshikage. Go to Josuke. The Rokaka Kai Lab is hidden in Ghana College Department. Huge. Need you more sons on the move for a big brother's sakes. So we're just going to let it go. We're going to let it rock. How much minutes are we in? 17? Okay, we're not going to let it rock. Cause that's, that'd be pretty damn long. All right, so this is where we're going to end this one at. Uh, review. Uh, pretty, pretty, I, I mean, you know, the past couple chapters have been pretty hype. Um, between Mamazuku and, and Josuke against uh, Toru. We've got a lot in those ones. It's kind of hard to compare to this. This is kind of more of an exposition one. It's kind of connecting. We needed a chapter to connect the dots between uh, Yasuho and Josuke for a while. That's pretty much what this is. Um, I'm just gonna kind of let it end here. Let me know if you like the chapter. Um, cool.